Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. 3 over a plus 4 over b is equal to 5. Our job is to find all possible values of a plus b such that a and b are positive integers. So let's start. We have the given equation 3 divided by a plus 4 divided by b is equal to 5. We take LCM of this a and b. LCM of a and b is a b. So, a b divided by a is b. b times this 3 will become 3 times b plus a b divided by b is a and a times this 4 will become 4 a is equal to 5 and from here we multiply both sides by a times b at right hand side we multiply by a times b so this a b will be cancelled out with this a b and uh, at left hand side we are left with uh, 3 times b plus uh, 4 times a is equal to 5 a b Now we move this uh, 3 times b plus uh, 4 times a to the right hand side. So this will become 5 a times b minus 3 times b minus 4 times a is equal to 0. And from these two terms uh, 5 a b minus 3 b we factor out 5 b and in bracket left a minus 3 divided by 5 minus 4 times a is equal to 0 and if we multiply this 4 by this 3 over 5 if we multiply 4 by 3 over 5 we get 12 over 5 so we add 12 over 5 to both sides like this 5 times b times a minus 3 over 5 minus 4 times a we add 12 over 5 at left hand side is equal to 0 and we add 12 over 5 at the right hand side next 5 times b times a minus 3 over 5 from these two terms we can factor out negative 4 and in bracket left a minus 3 over 5 is equal to 0 plus 12 over 5 will become 12 over 5 now this a minus 3 over 5 is a common factor so we factor out this a minus 3 over 5 and uh, in bracket left uh, this 5b and this negative 4 in bracket left uh, 5 times b minus 4 is equal to 12 over 5 from here we multiply both sides by 5 at left hand side we multiply by 5 so this 5 times a will become 5a minus 5 times 3 over 5 will become 3 times this 5 times b minus 4 is equal to this 5 will be cancelled out with this 5 and at right hand side we are left with 12. Now we have product of two factors at left hand side and both a and b are positive integers means that a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0 so this 12 can be factorized as 1 times 12 12 times 1 2 times 6 6 times 2 3 times 4 and 4 times 3 means that we have 6 cases this is case 1 this is case 2 this is case 3 this is case 4 this is case 5 and this is case 6 
first we saw case 1 in case 1 we write uh, these factors 5 times a minus 3 times uh, 5 times b minus 4 equal to this uh, 1 times 12 1 times 12 So this 5a minus 3, 5a minus 3 will be equal to 1. And this 5 times b minus 4 will be equal to 12. If we add both sides to 3, this implies that 5 times a is equal to 4. And if we divide both sides by 5, this implies that a is equal to 4 over 5 that is not an integer it means uh, no integer solutions can be found from this case now we solve case 2 in case 2 we write these factors 5 times a minus 3 times uh, 5 times b minus 4 equal to this 12 times 1 12 times 1. So, this 5a minus 3, 5 times a minus 3 will be equal to 12 and this 5 times b minus 4 will be equal to 1. And this implies that uh, 5 times a is equal to 15 and this implies that uh, a is equal to from this equation, this implies that 5 times b is equal to 5 and b is equal to 1. So, in this case, we get the value of a 3 and value of b 1. So, the value of a plus b will be equal to 3 plus 1 and a plus b be equal to 4. In this case uh, we get the first solution a plus b is equal to 4. Now we solve case 3. Case 3 is uh, 2 times 6. In case 3 we write uh, these factors 5 times a minus 3 times 5 times b minus 4 equal to 2 times 6. So, this 5a minus 3, 5 times a minus 3 will be equal to 2 and this 5 times b minus 4 will be equal to 6. This implies that 5 times a is equal to 5 and a is equal to 1 and this implies that 5 times b is equal to 10 and b is equal to 2. So, from this case we get value of a 1 and value of b 2. So, a plus b, a plus b will be equal to 1 plus 2 and a plus b will be equal to 3. So, from this case uh, we get the second solution a plus b is equal to 3. We solve case 4. Case 4 is uh, 6 times 2. In case 4 uh, we write uh, these factors uh, 5 times a minus 3 times uh, 5 times b minus 4 equal to 6 times 2. So, this 5a minus 3, 5 times a minus 3 will be equal to 6 and this 5 times b minus 4 will be equal to 2. From this equation implies that 5 times a is equal to 9 and a is equal to 9 over 5. It means uh, no integer solutions can be found from 
this case. Now we solve case 5. Case 5 is uh, 3 times 4. In case 5, uh, we write these factors 5 times a minus 3 times 5 times b minus 4 equal to 3 times 4. So this 5a minus 3, 5a minus 3 will be equal to 3 and 5 times b minus 4 will be equal to 4. From this equation implies that 5 times a is equal to 6 and a is equal to 6 over 5. It means uh, no integer solutions can be found from this case. We solve case 6. Case 6 is 4 times 3. In case 6, uh, we write these factors uh, 5 times a minus 3 times 5 times b minus 4 equal to 4 times 3. So, this uh, 5 times a minus 3, 5 times a minus 3 will be equal to 4 and this uh, 5 times b minus 4 will be equal to 3. So, this equation implies that uh, 5 times a is equal to 7 and a is equal to 7 over 5. It means uh, no integer solutions can be found from this case. We get uh, two solutions for a plus b, 4 and 3. So, the final set of solutions of uh, a plus b is equal to 3 comma 4. This is the final answer of this problem.